Get your crimp on. Crimpity, crimpity, now, now, crimpity, crimpity, ask me how. Crimpity, crimpity, humble pie, crimpity, crimpity, boing, ding. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Noel Fielding moments. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be focusing on the unconventional repertoire of comedian, actor, and artist Noel Fielding, from his stints on The Mighty Boosh to his panel show Gold. Oh, this is an outrage! Number 10, Noel's homemade $10 bill, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Noel has featured a few times on American TV, with Halo slots on the likes of Conan and Jimmy Fallon, and while on Jimmy's show, he decided to pay up on a coin flip bet with the sum of $10. Yeah. I, I, well, I didn't have any money, so I painted you a little painting of $10, if that's okay. <laughs> but for Noel, a conventional $10 bill is a bit dull, so he called upon his artistic skills and painted Jimmy his very own bespoke note. Yeah, it's yeah. the future $10, Donald Trump's on it. Weird thing is, Trump wasn't even president at the time. Spooky. And my artwork is worth quite a lot, so technically you owe me $1,000. <laughs> Number 9, The Closet Goth, The IT Crowd Gothic characters are Fielding's bread and butter. Case in point, Richmond from The IT Crowd. Mm, air conditioning. Keeps these things cool? Yes, what are they? I have no idea. <laughs> in this episode, we are first introduced to the posh goth who is secluded behind the IT department's mysterious red door, instructed to look over the servers and their blinky lights. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff even does. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> I don't know. Emotionally damaged, Fielding plays the doom and gloom character brilliantly, with a floaty voice that was apparently inspired by Pink Floyd's Roger Waters. This is... This is my punishment. You see, I used to be Denham's second in command. Do I amaze you? <laughs> Number 8, The High Speed Chase, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Who needs Hollywood blockbusters when you've got B-movie beauties like this? <laughs> Forming part of the intentionally rubbish Channel 4 show, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, a strange sequence of events leads protagonist Dr. Rick Douglas to chase an ape played by Fielding on a motorbike. And Fielding seems strangely at home as the deranged animal. <laughs> His muttered gibberish, the cack outfit, the green screen, the assault course... It's utter nonsense at its best. <sighs> I'm sweating now. Number seven, introducing the spirit of jazz, the mighty boosh. What do you get if you mix insidious jazz with a slightly perverse evil voodoo spirit? What's happening, boy? Who are you? Mm, I is the spirit of jazz. Hoping to exchange musical prowess for Howard's soul, the spirit of jazz slunks towards him at a bar, sporting a white suit and a fiery top hat. I want to be the greatest jazz player in Yorkshire. Yorkshire? What is Yorkshire? His hoarse voice and the eerie soundtrack actually make this encounter quite terrifying. But Fielding's hilarious portrayal offsets the creepiness perfectly. Ow! Man, my hat's on fire! What's wrong with you? Are you blind? Why didn't you tell me? And we tip our hats, sorry, stomp our hats, to that genius ending. There ain't no door back there, there's a toilet. Number six, beer connoisseur, Travel Man. This show is all about Richard Ayoade flitting around different countries with a celebrity guest and an array of nifty gadgets. Cue Noel Fielding and the trip to Copenhagen. There's no one in there. It's this door. Oh, right. right. There are various dry, silly and hilarious moments, but their visit to the Carlsberg Brewery gets our vote. Yeah, that's good. That smells like you're having a stroke. After sampling the aromas at the smelling station, with Fielding critiquing their unusual scent, they take on the taste test. We hey. do have activities for children happening right. all around. Do they get sh**ed? Well, you say that. They do not get sh**ed. <laughs> Sarcasm flies, beers are demeaned, and the two bounce off each other like nobody's business. Thank you. Thank you. It was Thank a real much. pleasure. Thanks That's a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye. Number five, how the hitcher got his thumb, the mighty boosh. They say it can be dangerous to pick up hitchhikers. Well, if this scene is anything to go by, we're inclined to agree with that. Spotting the hitcher at the side of the road, Julian Barrett's Howard decides to give him a lift. Quite a thumb you got on you there. Well, there's a story behind there, isn't it? You wouldn't know about my thumb, dear boy. 
Attempting small talk, he asks him about his giant thumb, and what follows is a monologue of monstrous proportions. In and out, in and out, more and more, oh, the pus, the pain, the black voodoo, the wet jigsaw puzzle, I didn't know what was happening. The tension builds, the Cockney accent broadens, and then suddenly, it's all quiet again. And in hindsight, he could have just been shitting himself. Hmm. <clears throat> Number 4, Goth Detectives, The Big Fat Quiz of the Year Noel and Russell Brand have hijacked the Big Fat Quiz of the Year several times, but their first outing in 2006 set the tone for future appearances, with general bohemian disruption. Have you done the rape? Well, if I have, I'll be leaving the scene of the crime like this. <laughs> Noel's finest moment in this episode went on to inspire the duo shenanigans on later shows after he coined the team name Goth Detectives, following a brief joke from Jonathan Ross. There's been no goth detectives, we could play a sort of gothic star skin up. Give Noel inspiration and a platform to perform and watch him go. We can slide out, then we run, well, we don't run out, goths don't run, we'd walk slowly. In the end, yeah. <laughs> we agree with Jimmy, we'd watch it too. Number three, Simon Amstel calls him out, never mind the buzzcocks. It's a well-known fact that Fielding doesn't like conventional jokes, and his brand of humour can be difficult to pin down. I'm gonna give you a Chinese burn, and then Kristen's gonna pour... Pot noodle on me! However, in this episode of Buzzcocks, host Simon Amstel has had enough, calling out Noel and his use of funny words. Is that how it works? You just say funny words and it works, does it? You just throw out weird words, hippopotamus and juggling. Is that what, is that what happens? Anyone can do that! We then get to watch the two try to outdo each other in a game of randomness. And we've got to hand it to Amstel, he does pretty well. <laughs> Don't make me cut the stuffing out of your pillow. <laughs> With a pair of scissors made of glitter. But Noel's final retort is brilliant. <laughs> no, with a motorbike made of jealousy. <laughs> Number two, I'm old Greg, the mighty boosh. Ah yes, old Greg, the scaly manfish, a thing of legend. Hi there. Who are you? I'm old Greg. Whilst fishing on Black Lake, Howard inadvertently captures the merman and has a rather awkward encounter with him on his boat. I like you. What do you think of me? I don't rightly know, sir. Make an assessment. Half man, half fish, a bit promiscuous and certainly a bit menacing, Greg grills Howard on why he is fishing in his waters. He also shows Howard his, uh. You know what that is? I saw Greg's vagina! I got a mangina! A pink tutu, red lipstick, and seaweed for hair, he's a classic Mighty Boosh creation. What's happening? I'm out, Greg. Number one, getaway driver, Blue Song. Okay, you got two minutes, 54 seconds from now. We finish with a cool song, groovy music video, and the inspiration for the film Baby Driver. Directed by Edgar Wright, the video sees Fielding as a getaway driver for Julian Barrett, Nick Frost, and Michael Smiley. Waiting for his crew to rob a bank, he jams to Mint Royal's Blue Song. Trying to stay covert, but unable to resist the urge to elaborately mime and mosh, it's two minutes and 54 seconds of textbook fielding and right. I think you'd find that was more like three minutes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.